amazing that you guys are here to support me. Thank you all so much for the love and fellowship that we all have. Dad, you are everything I could ever ask for in a father, a Christian, hardworking, loving husband and father. You always provided for us, even if it meant giving me your last dollar at a ball game so I could get a Coke and candy bar. You are a great leader teaching me how to be the man of the house. If there was ever anything that I couldn't fix, there you were, willing to help. I'm so grateful that God gave me the family that he did. If it hadn't been for his grace and mercy, and you being a Christian example, I know that I wouldn't have the place in my heart knowing that I am going into the surgery with his hand, guiding the doctors. I love you and thank you for all you have done to help raise my two wonderful sons. They have grown up to be hardworking, well-mannered, funny, and loving young men. This is what comes from the example that you have set in front of them. Thank you for that. Mom, where do I start? You are my idol, always a Christian, turning the other cheek. One trait that I did not get from you. <laughs> yeah. But one that I respect the most. All the times you could have blown a gasket, you were calm, cool, and collected. Your love for God and the work you are doing for Him is such a blessing. I am so glad that your faith has helped you to raise us girls knowing that there is a burning hell and none of us will be going there. It gives me peace of mind on days like today. You've been there for me and the boys from day one. You've led them down the road to success by teaching them not only books, but the book. They are both so smart and you played a big part of that, and I am forever grateful. There are so many great memories that I have of just silly times. Your humor, your humor. Your humor is one of your best features. So many fun times come to my memory as I am writing this. Thank you for your kind heart and loving nature. I'm so blessed to be chosen by God to be placed in your life as a daughter of I'll never forget the time that you drove all the way to Chattanooga and halfway back. Uh, then the always famous Welcome Taco. The most recent, did you get my purse? I love you more than words could ever express. Thank you for being who you are and helping me to be who I am. David. You know I love you. I've never had a man love me as much as you do. You are my other hand, and you complete me. I've never had that. We might not always get along, but, but you know I'm stubborn, and I am never wrong. You knew that coming in. Not my fault. But I think we are past the bad, and we will have a great future ahead. I believe that God has taken his place in our marriage, and we are headed down the right path. He sure has blessed us here lately. Continue to serve him and great things will happen. Still holding out for those grandbabies. I pray that you will always be a good and faithful husband, an example of what love should be for our kids and grandkids. We got it good. So don't jack it up. That's something you would say. Preston and Kendall. Boy, oh boy. I could not have asked for two better kids. I never thought that I would be as blessed as I am with you. With you two being in my life, just as God placed me and me in your papa's life, he handpicked you guys for each. I think you made a great selection. Your humor, your caring hearts, and your hard work ethic is something that you both have and it's very admirable. You have grown to be fine young men, very smart and hardworking, loving, silly, kind-hearted men. Uh, the love that I have for you two is so strong. I miss seeing you. You should come see your mother more. Just saying. I know I have my flaws and wasn't always in the best of moods, and I'm sorry for that. I just wanted the best for you, for you guys. I could go on and name my flaws. I sing in the shower, I spend too much time volunteering, and occasionally I'll hit someone with my car. Dippity boppity, love y'all. Lauren and Deanna, thank you so much for loving my boys. You have made their lives and our family complete. Again, I know that God handpicked you two to be the perfect fit for Preston and Kendall. I'm so glad that you both are good Christian Bible believing women. I pray that you will always love the boys, be kind and loving. I love y'all so much because you love my two blessings. Well, that is the only reason. But, but 
Yeah. One of the main ones. D, mainly because you fart and burp like us. <laughs> Lauren, hopefully you will get there. <laughs> hopefully this time away from work, we can have girl time and become even closer. Love y'all. Cheryl and Laura, wow, who could ask for anything better? I believe that some people are probably girls in our relationships as sisters. Cheryl, your silliness is enough to get me back 30 to 40 years. Reliving our childhood personalities every time we meet. I love it. So many memories that I will cherish, so near and dear to my heart. You are a fly girl. Laura, we are so much alike that it's scary. We're so strong willed and so vocal. Sometimes, maybe not a good thing. But that's what makes us us. I wouldn't want you any other way. We're all three blessed by having loving Christian parents that loved us enough to raise us in church, show us the plan of salvation, and thank the Lord that we are saved by the blood of Jesus. Gina, thank you for being here today. It means so much that not only are you here for me, but because you love David so much that you would come down to comfort him. That is a bond between you and David that I admire. You and I know that we are not good nurturers, but for you to go above and beyond in this time of need just shows your kindness and caring heart. Thank you for that. I love you too. You are also my sister, placed and hand selected by God. She says, now for the sad part, if I don't make it through, just know that I have peace in my heart, saved by the grace of God, and I want you all to have comfort in that. But if I do make it through, there are no promises of good and kindness coming from me 24 seconds. I am who I am. Someone, Ever, family, please. Ever. Someone tell David to help with the dishes. I love you. So.